Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about thalassemia in pregnancy. So when we talk about these disorders in pregnancy, we need to have some amount of pathophysiology to understand before discussing in the context of pregnancy. So what is thalassemia? Thalassemia is basically decreased production of chains of hemoglobin a that means hemoglobin adult okay hemoglobin adult has total four chains two alpha chains two beta chains okay and amount of these chains are decreased the synthesis of this chain are decreased in quantity in sickle cell anemia we has we have beta chains but they have problem in quality of beta chains here we have decreased amount amount of quantity of this particular chains if alpha chains are decreased then it's called alpha thalassemia if beta chain synthesis is decreased it's called beta thalassemia it's so simple now you need to understand very basic genes to make an alpha chain we need four genes four genes are needed to make one alpha chain and this chain uh, these genes are located on chromosome number 16 so we need totally four genes to produce the alpha chain in sufficient amounts Deletion in these genes will lead to decrease the synthesis of alpha chains and, and further for thalassemia. For example, if one gene is deleted, see four alpha chains are described like this alpha alpha slash alpha alpha. So if one gene is deleted like this alpha slash alpha alpha is a silent carrier. <coughs> Silent carrier means there is no such amount of diseases there, no uh, very asymptomatic kind of disorder is there. Some amount of microcytosis is seen. Only some amount of microcytosis. These are called silent carriers. Again, thalassemia is also an autosomal recessive. Now if two genes gets deleted it can be al uh, this is slash slash alpha or slash alpha slash alpha so two genes are deleted so the symptoms will be more than those in one gene, one gene deletion they have mild microcytic hypochromic anemia because the synthesis of alpha chain is further decreasing if we have three genes get deleted three genes then we got really the symptoms like moderate to severe microcytic hypochronic anemia up to this two gene deletion we had mild anemia but now with this three gene deleted we have moderate to severe anemia and always remember in thalassemia the anemia will be microcytic hypochromic so basically we don't have sufficient amount of alpha chain to make the hemoglobin so what it will do it will make four beta chains because for a hemoglobin molecule we need actually four chains but the alpha chain is not synthesized in sufficient amount so four beta chain will make a tetramer that is called hbh and this HBH that is hemoglobin H has four beta chains but this tetramer is of no work and it doesn't carry the oxygen even so severe anemia will be there we need the uh, the person is survived the person is survived and the person is compatible to life but again with severe anemia he will he or she will require multiple transfusion in future so when we when we talk about the, the 
then some child has a thalassemia and he needs some transfusion then you must remember this yes this can be hbh if all four genes are related then we don't have any amount of alpha chain not a small amount of alpha chain and with this the normal hemoglobin will be impossible to synthesize and that's why this uh, this disease person is not able to survive the intrauterine life even the fetal death will be there okay because of high drops heart failure pulmonary edema this will be there so we have discussed right now is alpha thalassemia then we will discuss beta thalassemia what is beta thalassemia we have uh, as we have discussed that in sickle cell anemia because in sickle cell anemia only beta chain will be affected okay so we already discussed that beta chain synthesis needs two genes on chromosome number two on chromosome number two we have two genes for beta thalassemia there are two uh, types of disorder uh, beta thalassemia one is called b0 that means complete absence of beta chain b0 means we don't have two genes both two genes related so we got complete absence of beta chains we don't have beta chains and one amount is b plus b plus means the synthesis is there but in decreased quantity in both of these condition we have excess alpha chains so <clears throat> this is how the physiology of alpha and beta thalassemia now when we uh, when we get those those persons uh, are generally what this amount two genes related one gene related in which we have slight amount of anemia and sometimes we get three genes related also patient that is a very severe patient it's a very severely anemic patient so what we see here on the uh, <clears throat> rbc and on the peripheral smear of blood we see low mch mean corpuscular hemoglobin we see normal mchc that means normal mchc means the the concentration is normal why the concentration is normal because the RBCs are smaller in size and having smaller amount of hemoglobin. So, yes, we get normal MCHC. RN profile will be normal. HB electrophoresis, if we see, we will find HBA2. What is HBA2? HBA2 as <clears throat> alpha 2, delta 2 kind of alpha 2, alpha 2, or alpha 2, delta 2 kind of. Uh, uh, chains so if we do a hb electrophoresis the level of hba2 will be more than 3.5 percent there is a uh, various amount of hemolysis is going on so serum bilirubin will be also high management of disease is, is same for pregnancy we need multiple transfusion we want that we need a pre preconceptional counseling before doing all this pregnancy and if the pregnancy is there then we need to manage like a severe anemia kind of patient we need multiple transfusion but yes we should avoid RN in treatment because already these patients have already higher amount of RN and this will lead to RN toxicity so we should not prescribe them RNs we should go with blood transfusion we should also prescribe folic acid uh, some prophylactic antibiotics and we prefer the mode of delivery will be normal delivery because of less bleeding and uh, less amount of complications so this is how we manage the thalassemia in pregnancy thank you friends